Alexis Ocampo, and I'm here with Sensei George Kotaka at the 2019 AAU National Championships. Sensei, we are very honored to have you with us today. and want to get to know you a little bit more. Sure. Um, just to ask you a few questions about your experiences in history and karate. Uh, first question is, what year were you born? Um, I was born in uh, 1977. 1977. Perfect. And where were you born? Um, Honolulu, Hawaii. Perfect. Okay. And at what age did you start karate? Um, I began karate at the age of three. Oh, wow, three. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and why did you start karate, I guess, at the age of three? <laughs> um, I think what, what brought me into the dojo was just my father just dragging me into the dojo um, uh -huh. and kind of just letting me observe and just kind of following along. So at three years old, I, I kind of just kind of fell into it. Um, uh -huh. um, I don't think I really wanted to be there in the, in the sense that I was like, I want to do karate, but it was just mm -hmm. that bringing me into the dojo every single day and then just kind of following the class and just kind of finding interest through there. That's awesome. So right place, right time. Exactly. Okay. And your instructors were? Um, my instructor was my father, um, okay. Sensei Chuzo Kotaka, yes. Perfect. Um, I do have uh, a mentor as well, mm -hmm. um, Sensei John Linkaka as well. He was a, he's such a huge part of my career as well, yes. Awesome. And how long have you been teaching karate? Um, started teaching kind of like um, maybe like my sophomore, junior year, so possibly like about 25 plus years, yeah, since okay. I was 15. Awesome, perfect. And what do you see as the benefits of doing karate? Um, the benefits of karate, obviously the physical side, um, mm -hmm. but also um, I view karate pretty much as a lifestyle, so mm -hmm. um, everything from the way you conduct yourself, building character, um, mm -hmm. the way you treat others and so forth. But also it's a, also has a social aspect of, of karate in the sense that a lot of my friends that I have are through karate. Mm -hmm. Some of my best friends are through martial arts. So yeah. you bring that, um, that community with you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. For karate, how have you seen it evol evolved since the beginning, since when you started until now, and where do you see it going in the future? Um, karate has, I guess, evolved in the sense that when I was um, competing or when I was a junior trying to get into the senior ranks, it, there's always been that dream of karate being into the Olympics and I've always yeah. wanted uh, to do that as well, but the ship has pretty much sailed, but at least um, we have this opportunity next year in 2020 mm -hmm. for karate to finally be um, introduced into the Olympic Games. So. Mm -hmm. Um, seeing that kind of evolution um, from when I started to finally allowing it to to finally get into the Olympics and um, and from here on out um, I just wish that we can continue to, to pursue karate um, both in the traditional realm and also in the sport realm mm -hmm. as well perfect yeah just to showcase it a little bit more now. exactly yeah and what advice would you give current and future athletes and instructors in karate um, my advice would be just to continue to pursue your dreams, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Everybody has goals and dreams that they aspire to achieve and um, the main thing is to have character and to have determination, to have mm -hmm. commitment. If you set goals, um, you try to make sure that you follow through them. And mm -hmm. I, what I've done throughout my years was just hitting short-term goals. I have my long-term goals, but also something that mm -hmm. is short-term mm -hmm. and just tack tackling it um, one step at a time at a mm -hmm. time instead of just looking three four years down the line just every six months you hit short-term goals and you just keep achieving them and then yeah. um, along the way you finally get to your long-term goals absolutely and what are your fondest memories with karate you fondest say? memories I would say is just um, competing with my teammates competing mm -hmm. going on these trips enjoying the experience enjoying other people's cultures um, mm -hmm. the competition side is definitely the highlight where you remember winning and standing on the podium but yeah. building friendships um, and um, networking with people and mm -hmm. having all these uh, great memories that's what I remember the most yeah, it's definitely getting friendships and it's like a lifetime exactly, much. Friendships exactly. A lifetime, yeah. um, last question for the many years that you've been part of the AAU karate organization what about the program keeps you coming back and supporting it um, what brings me back is the camaraderie the, the feeling of family with the mm -hmm. AU. This is the one organization there. People treat you really, truly, genuinely, mm -hmm. and people want to be treated that way. Right. And when you are treated that way, that's why you come back. When you treat it like family, yes. treat it with respect, um, with integrity, that's the reason why you come back. And that's why I will always will be back here.
Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Sensei, thank you very much. for having us um, and for taking your time to answer these thank questions. You. Thank, thank you so much. You. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>